I missed the front of my freaking head. Holy sh! I can't breathe. This shit is so strong. Don't die on us. It actually looks more patchier than before. Oh sh! Hi, beautiful. Thanks to Copilot for sponsoring today's Hairdresser Reacts. I just want to say, you guys have bullied me to make this video. I had no part in that. I hope you know. I'm going to be redoing my hair. It's been a minute. As you see, it's grown out. There's a whole lot going on. She does have dark roots and light ends and also apparently blonde eyebrows. She's got to even all this out before she goes in with the color that is probably going to be high lift permanent color, which she doesn't need on her hair, which we've already established throughout the rest of the video. But we'll see what happens. I I am going to bleach my hair. Whoa! <laughs> it's like an explosion of hair going on. It is already light and we're going ginger. I mean, I don't even know if we really need to lighten it first. It's pretty light. A little bit hard to see through the screen, but girl, you're already there. You already got a whole lot going on. We're gonna put more bleach on there. I just don't know about this particular one. My roots, y'all see that? It's not cutting it. Like this is getting towards brown. There's like patchiness everywhere. I actually kind of like the root. I would have just left it there. I think it would be an amazing look for you to have that little bit of dark root and some really vibrant copper mids and ends. I feel like that would look sick. I've been like trying to think, do I want to go all the way to the bottom or do I want to leave it alone? You want to leave it alone. You know what happens if you over lighten your hair before you then put copper on it? The copper just falls right out of the hair cuticle and that is not good. You want to keep your hair at that orange level before you then go and put the copper on top of it. We don't want to lift past the goal. I am using the BW2 bleach. Honestly, I use this for every bleaching my knots, bleaching my legs, and then 30 developer. She honestly didn't even need 30 volume. 20 volume would have been perfectly fine for her because she's only trying to lift to that orangey level. She would have had a lot more time to apply and things would have come up more even in that instance if we use 20 volume instead of 30. Before I even start, how would I, okay, I got these from the beauty supply store and they're like plastic ear covers. I got this on your ear. <laughs> This is so cute. These little earbags are the cutest f things. <laughs> Why? Your ears are gonna be just fine. Just don't put bleach on top of them. We can avoid that. But if the bleach touches, you're gonna be fine. We are starting in the back, luckily. Okay, our people have finally started to catch on to me yelling that every single week here on this channel, screaming it. But she is going right down into that lighter part of her hair, which I don't like. We really wanna keep that lightener just on that really dark section first. Let that lighten up to the same tone as the ends, and then we can apply more lightener to the ends if we really want to. We shouldn't really do that though because her hair does not need to be lifted past what it is right now. It's already at a perfect level then apply the copper to. You know what I mean? I mean, I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but I feel like I'm not getting through to anybody. Hello? Is anybody there? We are doing a thorough job applying this color. It is looking nice. It is looking right. It is looking tight. Except for the fact that all the things I already mentioned that weren't correct. But at least the application method is solid. I kind of already saw my hair and I missed a spot in the front of my head and it makes me so mad. Oh God, we got the towel on the head and I can already tell this is way too light. We are in the yellow zone and we don't want to be there because that semi permanent color or whatever color she puts on top of this is going to slip right off her hair and just just go right down the drain. What it looks like. It looks crazy just because my hair was originally ginger. But my roots, oh my god, they lifted like insane. Obviously, see, I still have a curl pattern. And this is what we call hot roots. Holy sh there's a lot going on here. And luckily, she does still have a wave pattern, like she said. It's risky with curly hair, guys. Bleaching it, sometimes that curl pattern just boop right away. I missed the front of my freaking head but it's only a small piece to be honest i don't know what the back of my head looks like hopefully not too <gasps> it's not too bad it's not too bad i just missed like 20 spots it's fine it's all good just because i'm dying my hair ginger oh f i need to do oh, i need to work out hold on guys i'll be i'll be right back just kidding just kidding. I did work out earlier today. Yeah, I was lifting in like a sexy photo shoot type of way. I did a little ad for a brand called Copilot, which I love so much, and you're about to see it right now. Okay, run the tape, run it.
Copilot, which is my favorite fitness app. I love working out with my Apple Watch. It is so fun, it makes things so easy for me. It remembers all my weights, everything that I did in the previous workouts, and it is the best thing ever. And I have a personal trainer built into the app. It is an actual person who you actually talk to, and they actually give you personalized advice on how you can build up your body, lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle. However, staying consistent when I work out is not always easy. Seriously, I have done so many workouts and tried different things. This time I am determined to stay consistent with it. When I had my first meeting with my co-pilot coach, she asked me, Brad, what are the goals with the body? I know you want to look sexy, but like, do you want bigger biceps? I was like, yes. Do you want to get thicker? Yes. Do you want a juicy ass? I was like, yes. So the next day I immediately received my plan and it was so thorough. I actually could not believe how much she put into this plan literally overnight. You work out this day, this day, this day, and you're off this day. It does not end there. The relationship actually continues. You actually rate and you can comment on every single workout you do. And that information will go directly to your coach and you can have a conversation about it right in the app. It's so nice. And you do not need a gym or equipment to do this. You can do it literally at home. Another great thing is that my coach holds me accountable for doing these workouts and is like, why aren't you there? What's going on? Can we make this workout easier for you? Or can we have less of a time commitment per workout? And she's also recommended having less days a week working out because sometimes I just do not get to the five that I set my mind on and then I kind of feel like a failure. But with the coach, she's always there and telling me, no, it's okay. We can cut back a little bit. You'll still get to your goals and that will be better than not doing it at all. I am on a fitness journey. I'm already getting bigger and my stomach is getting flatter. So get ready for thicky, thick, thickums, Brad, because he's coming for you soon. So use my link to get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness. But that's only if you sign up before February 1st. So get on it. It's time to look sexier than ever before. We can do this together. <laughs> now that you learned all about me being a thick zaddy, let's get back to watching people mess up their hair. So you see this section where it's red? So I tried this one dye that was like the L'Oreal High Color color something and ginger and that was the worst thing I could have done because it was just such a really red color and I don't really like red hair on me. I feel like it's stained and now whenever I like bleach anywhere. It's like now super hard to get out. Yes, that is the unfortunate part of using permanent color is that it sticks. It is in that hair follicle. It is in the cortex of the hair and it's very difficult to get out. That is why we stick with semi and demi usually when we're doing colors like this because it's easy to transition out of having red hair when you want to. Otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I actually have no idea what color she's using right now. I don't know if she mentioned it, but I don't think she did. I may, however, skipped over when she mentioned what color she's using, but I did check and I swear I couldn't find it. So if anybody knows, let me know. It looks like diapermanent color, luckily. Now, when we're using diapermanent color or semi-permanent color after bleaching our hair, we need to make sure all of that bleach is out. You should do like three shampoos because if you have any lightener still in that hair, that semi or diapermanent color is not going to stick and the semi-permanent color will be lightened by that just little Little tiny bits of lightener left over in the hair if it is not properly washed out. Believe me, I've been there. It's happened to me so many times. I wash so f thoroughly after <laughs> bleaching somebody's entire head. It is a seriously key part of getting a really bright semi-permanent color. She's doing a very nice thorough job though. I like watching this. This is very therapeutic for me. I just did my hair and this is what we're looking like so far. As you see, my curls are very much still intact. Holy sh their curls are looking better than ever. And I also trim my hair just because I feel like I did a lot to it and I haven't trimmed it in a minute. This is exactly the color I wanted, like a ginger orange. Damn near wanted to dye my hair orange. This is what it looks so far, but you can't really like get the feel of it. So I'm gonna come back probably tomorrow when it's dry. I'm not gonna put a blow dryer on it or anything like that. It is almost looking too good for what just happened. How do we even just get here? This color is gonna wash out very fast because her hair is very light underneath. Wow. Who gave you the f right to look that good? Oh my god, that was beautiful. The blonde eyebrows with the copper. Oh my god, just gorgeous. And it looked quite even actually. This one I'm very shocked about. The whole thing leading up to that end result was shaky and crazy, but we got there somehow. I have no idea how. You look phenomenal. This is your look. Today we're going ginger. We're going ginger!
I'm excited, but I'm scared because she has very nice hair. It is very dark and it is curly, which means it's dry. So <laughs> we're gonna need to lighten it. I think Ginger would look interesting on her. She does have a very cool skin tone from what I'm seeing in this video. She might have like a ring light on that is very cool tone though. I don't know. Cool tone mixed with Ginger doesn't usually look very good. So I'm a little nervous about that, but could still be a vibe. Sometimes it depends what you do with your makeup as well. You can always make a hair color work with the right makeup or you can just say, it and like not have the ideal color for your skin tone, you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever you want to do. The high color highlight L'Oreal in the color copper. So she is going down the path of using a high lift color. With a high lift color, you do not need to bleach your hair. If this is her natural hair color, I think that's a great idea. If it is not her natural hair color and she has previous color on it already, you cannot use a high lift color because color does not lift color. She needs to lighten it with bleach before she then deposits a semi permanent or dye permanent color on top of it. So. Let's see what happens. I also got like these two adore colors, Cajun Spice and a Cinnamon. Okay, we also have semi permanent color too. I don't know why, but maybe it's for like maintenance down the line. I'm not really sure where we're going with this. I'm kind of going for this look right here. That's a very pretty color. It's more on the brown side than the red side. So I'm surprised she's using such a bright, bright, bright red because that's gonna give her like a bright, bright, bright red. I want like a ginger, oil burn, reddish, brownish color. I love that she's doing a more copper color. I think that will look great for her because too red is gonna look a little bit off with her skin tone. I think her hair is going to look so bright, so shiny, and so vibrant with a real good brown copper. But the product she picked out didn't really make total sense with what her goal is. So what's going on here? We need some developer. This is the only one I have. Holy sh! I have never seen a gallon of 40 volume in my life. Even working in salons, never seen one. Like what? 40 volume gallon. When do you need that much 40 volume? People be using 30, but this is fine. The faster, the better. So what she said was the faster, the better. Now that's sort of true. The higher you go up in your developer, the faster process is, but it's not completely true. Developer mixed with lightener, AKA bleach. Definitely the higher you go, the faster it works, but it also will lift more levels the higher you go with your developer. But when it comes to permanent high lift color, the developer you use with your high lift color really indicates the amount of lift you're going to get, not how fast the lift is gonna happen. Yeah, the lift will happen faster, but it'll also break through more levels of lifting. With a 30 volume on her, she's probably gonna get like a nice, you know, rich red. With a 40 volume mixed with that high lift color, she's gonna get a very bright red. But you always wanna process for the same amount of time, depending on what the instructions say from the manufacturer. You don't want to process for less time based on the developer you use. Oh my god, it's so red. That is Ronald McDonald red. Oh, oh, oh baby, we are doing the absolute most and that is what I really need today. I want red, red, like f my face red. <laughs> now that we have it on two sides. I am so happy she's not bleaching her hair before because that would have been an absolute disaster. So far so good, but I'm very curious if she's going to apply to her roots first because you should not do that on a virgin color application with high lift color or with any color on a virgin head of hair. She's gonna have to start with her mids and ends. That way those roots don't process and get really, really bright and you get hot roots. Even though she's going red, I don't think she wants hot roots. They are scary, horrifying, awful, and disgusting. So we're gonna add this developer to it. We're just gonna pour it, okay? I'm like so scared. No, <laughs> don't say that. Don't say you're scared. You guys always start coloring your hair and you're like, I am horrified. I am so scared. I feel like that should be a red flag when if you're scared before you start coloring your hair, just don't do it. Just put the brush down. Just leave it there. Don't do it. You should hear my voice in your head being like, please put the brush down. Don't do it. So now that I have four sections, we're gonna comb this out. I like to use the detangling brush. Okay, we did some beautiful sectioning, four quadrants. And I'm ready to see that color go on the head, the most satisfying part of all. Oh, let's see it. I'm scared, guys. I'm so scared. Okay, hold. Hold on, you did some beautiful four quadrants and then we took a zigzag weave part horizontally. What happened there? What happened there? It was all going great. It was all cute. It was all good. And then we go v -v -v zigzag. What the fuck? It's already done and over with. It's already on. It's already done. 
You already did the damage. Not really. You could wash it off right now and turn it in. You could stop, but you're not going to, which I'm happy about because I want to see the results. But she is doing a virgin color application, which is great news, guys. Things are going well. We're not going to get hot roots unless she applies the roots immediately after she's done applying the mids and ends without waiting enough processing time to hit the roots because sometimes people will do not do the roots first and they'll immediately go back once they're done with the mids and ends and hit the roots. You can't do that. You need to let them process or else everything is going to have hot roots and it's going to be disgusting and it's going to be, oh, just terrible. Listen, I'm exhausted today. So if you don't get the best hair advice from me, it's because I am tired. Let me just have fun today without having too much technicalities. All right, she redeemed herself with that second parting. It looks a whole lot better. That is a straight part. I will tell you guys, there is a copywritten song that is playing as she colors her hair, which I cannot reveal to you. I think it's like a Destiny's Child remix and I'm really loving it. Can I just say, if you guys make videos, first of all, don't use copyright music during your talking parts or else I won't be able to watch it. Second of all, if there are any silent moments in your video, give me some fun bobs to listen to. It gets boring over here, okay? When I'm just staring at the video, watching, with no background music. I need music. Help me with my job, please. There's two things that I don't love that are happening right now, and one is the fact that she started in the front of her fucking head. Ah. One day I'm gonna get you guys to start in the back of your head. I swear it's easier. The way she has to now go around that previous section and then try to get the back, it's just complicated. It makes things annoying. It's just a lot like that. Just trust me on that one. It's just a lot. Oh my God, my nostrils are so itchy. The second thing I don't like is that she is clipping the hair up after she has finished applying the color. And the reason why I don't like that is because the color will touch the roots that way. All right, and we do not want the roots colored. Why? Because you'll get hot roots. We already understand that because I already went over that five times. So don't do that. We want to let the air in. And also, if you twirl the hair on top of itself while it's processing like this, it will produce heat in the middle of the bun, um, more heat than the outer parts of the bun, and you will get uneven color. <laughs> I can't breathe. This shit is so strong. Go, don't die on us. It's not worth going red. Oh, this whole section is done. I have all of them at the ends. This one's already turning. I can see it. The thing she did do that I really love is she fully saturated that mother fucking hair. She went in there and just put the most color on. Oh, a sight to see for me. It is. It truly is a sight to see. It is one of the... What if it's five, seven, five, seven, five world wonders of the world of the five? How many world wonders of the world are there? Is it a wonder of the world? You know, I really can't use the blonde excuse anymore. I used to always be like, oh, I'm not that smart and blonde. Pitch my hair ain't blonde anymore. I mean, it sort of is, but like my roots, mm, no, not a natural blonde. <sighs> Just dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. We're doing a plastic cap to keep that heat in and make sure that color processes nicely. Love to see it. Also, she is waiting to apply the roots. Oh, we are getting something real good here. We are getting a treat, a little treatsy treatsy for us, you know? What are you doing? Why oh, you look so beautiful? Why oh, you look so gorgeous today? What would you do differently? You look so gorgeous. Laying in that bed, sitting on that couch, wherever else you might be. Looking gorgeous. Thank you for watching today. Give this video a like and subscribe. Oh, it is getting red. red. everything with it like this it looks so orange and i'm kind of scared we're just gonna put it on like okay you can really see those roots processing now they are whoo and they are ready to go they are they are like popping up red immediately after she applied that color and it is getting exciting this is how it came out it was a little bright for me so i am going to add this cajun spice hold on a second hold on What's going on here? So she rinsed the color out and it seems like she must have had previously colored hair because those ends are definitely a different color than her roots. The whole thing is a multicolor. The ends are a little bit purple. The roots are pretty red. It's very interesting. She had to have had previously colored hair and that is why you cannot put color over a color because it is not reliable. You get really weird results that way. I'm gonna add a dash. 
a dash of spice amber. Okay, we are putting semi-permanent color over this. I don't know what that's gonna do. Uh, I don't think it's going to do anything because your hair is already very dark and you just colored it and it is still vibrant. Once you've colored your hair with permanent color, it is very difficult to get semi-permanent color to stick on top of that because all those little holes in your hair that hold that semi-permanent color on it are already filled with artificial pigment. So it kind of just slides right off. So this bright compared to this. We was not gonna do that. That was just too bright for me. Some people really like that color. I'm more so of a subtle type of eye. Okay, so far it is looking pretty dark, so that's good. She used a color that's definitely dark enough. We'll see if it really makes a difference or if it just washes out. I like this color way better. It's like way darker. This is the color I was going for. That other color was too bright. Okay, it looks a little bit darker, I think. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Damn, my hair got long though. That's crazy. I definitely need to trim, I know. Damn, yo, you're for real on that one. Yo, for real. Holy sh I didn't even know that was the same person for a second. Yo, your hair is smooth and it is long. Okay, guys, so this is after I trimmed it. I'm very happy with the results. Whoa, that is a drastic difference from what she started with. There's an opportunity to make this hair more even. It's a good color, but I just don't think it really is exactly like the reference picture, which it doesn't need to be, but I would have liked it to be. It's a little bit more on the cool tone side, which I think might go with her skin a little bit better, but I think she looks stunning though. What would have been even better though, even better, better, is if we added some like balayage highlights in there and just gave some variety to that copper color going on. Had kind of a darker base of red, with the copper highlights going through. I just think every hair color looks better with dimension. And that is just my own opinion, but usually hair that has dimension just looks more natural and has a more organic, full of life feel to it. And that's why I almost never do hair color that is one single dimension. I always add highlights and lowlights to the color. Just brings it all together at the end and makes everything look more cohesive and just more professionally done. But good job. Hello, it's Leela Halo. And today I'm gonna be showing you how I went from this ugly brown, blotchy, patchy color on my head to this gorgeous copper, red orange beautiful color so let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay we are going in again with the high color that seems to be what people go for uh that color is available at sally beauty and that is why a lot of people buy it because sally beauty is where the people go when they want to do some hair color at home and you know what else you could buy at sally beauty x mondo she, however, is using 20 volume, which I don't know if you knew this, but it's very different than 40 volume. 20 volume is essentially half the lifting power. Always using this head over here. Ah, I know, I know. <laughs> Always using this head. She also said she's using a color remover and red protein filler. I do not know what red protein filler is. However, it sounds like it's red protein. The red protein filler is necessary if you want to get that gorgeous undertone and also color remover if you have box dye like I did on my hair. I had black box dye underneath um, in my root area. Alrighty, we got a few issues going on here. We can't do this. <laughs> You see me grow up. We can't do that. So she is lifting out her box dye color with color remover, and then she's going to fill it with the protein filler, which is fine. The thing that has gone amiss is using the high lift color to then go over the uh, pre-lightened, color removed, protein filled hair. We can't do that because a high lift color lifts and deposits. First of all, you're just gonna cause more damage that is unnecessary to your hair. Um, you could just use a semi-permanent color on top of that, or a semi-permanent color, depending on how permanent you want the color, and that would have been a lot healthier for your hair because you wouldn't get any lifting power. This way you're doing it is going to incur a little bit more damage and is just not necessary. So next time offer a dye permanent or a semi-permanent color, but it may still come out good. So we'll see. Yes, she is starting in the back of the damn head and I love to see it. I love it, 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 I love to see, but what I don't love to see is us nearly touching the root with the color remover. This color remover you can tell has bleach in it because of the consistency and the white cast or sort of paste residue thing it leaves on the hair. We wanna work farther from that root next time because color remover with bleach mixed into it tends to move up the hair. I would recommend avoiding like an inch and a half of the root next time instead of this kind of like half an inch that we left out. It'll work better that way. Uh-oh, I see it hitting the root. Oh fuck. 
She's also using color remover on her natural hair. I don't know what the point of that is. Like she has about two inches of regrowth and that is the part we're using the color remover on, which we don't want to do that. No, we don't want to do that. No, 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 no. So just make sure you follow the instructions and apply it to wherever you have that dark box dye color on your hair. And I used a mirror to help me with the back. Or maybe her root is the only part that has box dye on it. I don't know. It's not quite clear. I'm a little confused. I pretty much just applied it to where you see that band and I also applied it to the sides of my hair like you're seeing right now by the ears. I applied it there so it can look a little bit lighter around my face so it can frame my face really nicely. I don't know. She's kind of using the color remover as a bleach, um, which is fine because again, it has bleach in it, but it's a very interesting thing she's trying to do. I think she's just trying to even out the existing color in her hair because it is quite splotchy. It has all kinds of shit going on everywhere. Kinda of just darkness, lightness, copperness, redness. I don't know. It's a lot. I mean, we got it applied to all of those roots. So let's hop on the f hot root express bus, baby. <laughs> now, towards the end, after the top has been processing for a while, I went ahead and dampened my hair so I could apply the color remover to the ends of my hair. I didn't want to apply it to completely dry hair because I didn't want it to absorb and lighten that much, so I just wet it a little bit so it can glide easier. I mean, that's a concept. I don't know a whole lot about color remover, honestly. I don't. I tend to not use it. I tend to use just bleach instead. I, I find them to be pretty comparable in a lot of ways. I don't know what would happen. I mean, you're really just diluting the formula and it's just going to process slower. I don't know if there was really a whole huge point of doing that. I don't know. So I just did it for like five minutes. I left the developer on my ends because my ends are really processed. Like I said, I have bleached hair on the bottom of all this hair dye. I also applied it to my eyebrows. Okay, and the eyebrows too. Let's throw on the eyelashes as well next time. Our armpit hair, our leg hair. Let's just fuck Color remover everything. Don't do that, by the way. Do not do this because it didn't do anything to my eyebrows. I thought it was gonna lighten it a little bit, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> and it actually ended up irritating my eyebrows a little bit. Okay, so there we have it. Maybe the color remover she used doesn't have bleach in it, which is very interesting because it definitely looked like that to me. Again, I don't know a whole lot about color remover. I don't know everything. I don't know every single thing about hair. Contrary to popular belief, I never claim to know everything. I'm just here having fun. I just like hair. Leave me alone. She actually looks like she had got a good result there though because her roots are red. Some f now we got them red. And you're gonna see right now how it turned out after it dried. Um, It did not turn out how I expected. It actually looks more patchier than before and it's still dark around my root area. Oh sh I don't know how to put this in nicer words. I'm just gonna come out and say it. It looks terrible. How did it become worse? It is so beyond patchy now. Oh God, that sucks. I'm so sorry, but it does make good content. So thank you. I was hoping for it to even out when I applied the color and I also added the protein filler right here. So the protein filler is really important to get that um, undertone that you want the red undertone and to make it look really vibrant. Okay, it is time to put on a very dark red color to cover up all those mistakes because there are endless mistakes in that head of hair. I don't want to see them anymore. Uh, we are about to apply high lift color on top of already lightened hair, which listen, it will do something. It's just not going to give you the exact color that you're looking for. I don't know what this filler situation is and I'm listening to her talking about it. I don't know. Usually a filler is used before you apply the permanent color, not while you do it. We are applying from roots to ends. Yo, hot roots. Come on in. It's your time to shine, babe. Don't apply to your roots first, guys. Um, a lot of people on YouTube I saw were complaining about getting hot roots. And the way that I avoided this was by not putting a plastic hair cap on top of my hair. So I let it process um, without the cap. I just put it in a bun and I let it process. I'm glad it worked out for you, but typically it doesn't work like that. She did a very beautiful, thorough application though. I really appreciated that. Every little section, boom, horizontal, boom, boom, boom. Color every single piece, da, 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 da. Gorgeous. This is the final result. So it looked gorgeous. It turned out really nice. Holy 
That's bright. Despite it still being a little bit patchy on the top of my head, as you can see, it still looks patchy. And in between my hair, if you lift it up, it still looks patchy. But I mean, like that to the naked eye, it looks gorgeous. I got a lot of compliments. This color is so beautiful. And this is without a filter. It's just with the natural camera lens. It has no filter. And it looks so vibrant, so beautiful. I mean, it is bright. It is so blindingly bright. It looks great with her skin tone. Her whole vibe her whole look very much compliments this copper look but it can't fool me i mean it looks patchy i see those dark spots i see that variation in color it is still all over the place however it is definitely a wearable look that looks very nice on you but being a picky professional that i am i'm gonna say it doesn't quite look professional which it isn't you look good but it could be a lot better so use my link to get a 14 day free trial and 20 percent off your first month of personalized fitness but that's only if you sign up before February 1st. And special thanks to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. And of course, if you want the most amazing red hair possible, check out Xmodo Color. We have so many beautiful reds to choose from. You can check them out at xmodohair.com or with the link right down below. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.